In this video, I want to show you how to calculate the present value of an annuity due. So here's our formula. We're going to take the periodic cash flow and we're going to multiply it by 1 minus 1 plus the discount rate, that's our R, raised to the negative n power, where n is the number of periods. We're going to divide that by the discount rate and then we're going to multiply it by 1 plus the discount rate. Now, if you take this component right here, you might notice that is the formula for the present value of an ordinary annuity. Okay, so all the present value of an annuity do, the only difference is we just multiply by 1 plus r. So we just take the present value of an ordinary annuity and then multiply by 1 plus r. So let me show you an example of how to use the formula. So let's say your company agrees to lease a piece of equipment for three years, okay? So it's gonna be a three year lease and your company is going to make an annual payment of $10,000. But here's the key and here's what makes it an annuity due. The first payment begins today, okay, right now. With an, with an ordinary annuity, the first payment wouldn't occur until one year from today. So let's take a look at this timeline. So here's our cash flows. We're gonna have three, it's three years, so we're gonna have three cash flows of $10,000, okay? We're gonna pay, 10,000 today, that's our very first payment, and then 10,000 one year from now, 10,000 two years from now, and then three years from now, there's no payment at all. Okay, if we were doing an ordinary annuity, then there'd be no payment today, and then we'd have 10,000, 10,000, and then 10,000 at the end of the third year, there'd be that final payment, okay? So that's the only difference, and that's why we're multiplying by that one plus r to change our equation, okay? So let's say that the discount rate was 7%, and we have this stream of cash flows here. What would be the present value of these lease payments? Obviously, we could take the present value of each one as a single cash flow and then add them up, but we could also use our formula. Okay, so we could just use our formula. So we're gonna take this formula, and we're just gonna plug in numbers. So our periodic cash flow is $10,000. So we're gonna plug in $10,000 for the cash flow, and then we're gonna plug in the numbers here for our formula, one minus 1.07, and it's 1.07 because it's one plus 0 0.07, that's the discount rate is 7%, raised to the negative third power, because there's three periods, it's a three year lease, divided by the discount rate, which is 0 0.07, times one plus R, so that's 1.07, one plus the discount rate, okay? You multiply this thing out right here, you get 2.624316, times 10,000 times 1.07. So I'm just going fast here because we're just doing math. This component here is 26,243.16. This is actually what the present value of an ordinary annuity would be. But again, it's an annuity due. The first payment begins today, okay? So we're gonna multiply it by that one plus R, and then that's going to give us a grand total of $28,080.18. And this is the present value of the annuity due. 